Hello coders. In this video, I am going to show you the most important function of PyAuto GUI package. This function is so important that you will use it in almost every automation project that you create. And I will also be creating a simple project using this function. So let's get started. I am inside my VS code. I'll create a new file, set the language to Python and save the file on my desktop. Now I'll come here. Those who have not seen my previous video, let me tell you. I'm using a Python package named PyAutoGUI which is used to automate computer GUIs. So you will have to install it like this. Type pip install PyAutoGUI. I have already installed this package. So now coming to the code, I'll import the package. Now, if you want to get the location or coordinates of any part on the screen, then there is a function named locate on screen. This function takes an image as a parameter and returns the full location of that image on the screen. For example, if I want to get the location of this edit menu, then what I will do is I'll search for snipping tool on my computer like this, open it, click on new and then capture this edit menu area and save it as a PNG file or any image type file. Now I will pass the name of this image file over here. Let me print the response. I'll come here and run the code. You can see it has printed the full location. It says from left it's at 116 and from top it's at 6. These are the coordinates X and Y where X is 116 and Y is 6. Then it gives the width and height of that image. But we just require the coordinates that is the the x and y value. So in order to do that, there is another function named center. Let me show you. I'll pass the response to the center function and it will return to me the center coordinates of that part. Let me run this and there you go. It has given me the exact center coordinates. Now I'll move to that location using the move to function. But before that, I'll have to take the coordinates inside a variable like this and then pass it to the move to function. By the way, move to function, I have explained it in detail and there are more functions that I have explained in my previous video. So do check that out. What move to function does is whatever the coordinates that you pass to this function, it is going to move your mouse to that particular location or to that particular coordinate. That's it. Okay, let's run this. Did you see that? My mouse automatically came to this edit menu. So you had to perform two operations in order to get the location of a part on the screen. But you can also do this using one operation. That is by using a function named locate center on screen. This function is the combination of locate on screen and center functions. Here you need to pass the image file name and it will return the center location of that image. I'll just print the response and now run the code. You got the same result. Let me just write the comments for you just to understand. So you can use only this function and your work is done. So coders, this was the most important function of PyAuto GUI package, which you will require in almost every automation project. Now is the time to create a simple project using this function and other functions that I showed you in my previous video. The project that I'll create is subscribing a YouTube channel automatically. I have written down the steps already. So the first step is to open a new tab on the browser. See, I know that shortcut for new tab is control plus T. So to press control and T, I will use the hotkey function and I'll pass CTRL 
and T. That's it. The next step is to search youtube.com. To do that, I'll use the write function and pass the YouTube URL. So this will write the URL in the search bar. And then I'll press enter using the hotkey function. Now we'll just run this much and see. But there is one problem. You'll see it when I run the code. Let's see. I'll keep the browser open behind the editor like this. I'm running the code. And here is the problem. You can see that it typed control plus T and the URL inside the terminal itself. So we need to find a way to minimize our editor and run the code in the background. In order to do this, there are some functions in PyAuto GUI package which can take inputs from you. We will use one of those functions. So the function I will use is prompt. This function shows a pop-up and a text box to take inputs. The attribute I'll pass is text which will store whatever I'll type in the text box and title to give a heading for the pop-up. I'll type enter the channel name and this will return the text that I will enter so I'll store it in this variable I'll call it channel underscore name you can give whatever name you want I'll write the comment so let me show you the channel that I want to subscribe by the way I am not doing any paid promotions I've been following this channel so the channel name is the English scholar online camp if you want to learn grammar and punctuation improve your vocabulary get some useful tips and free resources then you can go ahead and check this channel and subscribe it one thing I love is that most of the videos on this channel are short ones okay so now I'll go back to the code here I'll print the channel name now I'll run the code again and here the pop-up is it says enter the channel name I'll type the English scholar online camp okay did you see that my code was running in the background and we were able to do what we wanted now the next step is to type the enter channel name in the search box so to locate the search box I'll capture this search using the snipping tool and I'll save it I'll also capture the subscribe button oh but for that first I need to unsubscribe okay now you can see the subscribe button now I will capture it using the snipping tool again and I'll save it going back to the code so use our important function again to locate the search box and also locate the subscribe button on the screen locate center on screen the file name Once I locate it, I'll move to that location. So I'll use move to function. Then I need to click on the search box. So I'll use the click method. After clicking, I need to type the channel name. So I'll use the write function and then pass the channel name variable to that function. I'll just write the comment. Okay. Then again to press enter, Pi auto gui dot hotkey enter I forgot one thing I also need to click after I press ok on the pop-up so I will have to add a click function there also here yeah. ok now I want to show you one attribute for the locate center on screen function that is confidence I'll type confidence equal to 0.9 0 0.9 means 90% so 1 will be 100% this means that even if there is a 90% match then still it should consider and to use this confidence attribute I need to install a package called OpenCV Python so I'll type pip install OpenCV Python done now let's run this code
Did you see that? I didn't touch my mouse or keyboard. It automatically opened YouTube and searched for the channel. So now, the next step would be to open the channel. To do that, I need to click on the channel logo. So now you know what I'm going to do. Open snipping tool. Capture the logo. And save it. Now come back to the code. I'll just copy paste this over here and change the file name. That's it. I'll put the necessary sleep of one second. For the next and final step, again I'll copy paste, change the file name. This image is the subscribe button that we captured earlier. And that's it. Now let's run it. Oops, it did not search the logo. This might happen sometime due to pixel mismatch. So here the confidence was 90%. Still it did not work. So now I'll reduce it to 80% and try again. In such cases, you'll have to decrease or increase the confidence and keep trying. That's why the confidence attribute is very important. Now I think it should work. Let's see. Bingo! It worked! I did not touch my mouse or keyboard. It automatically opened YouTube, searched for the channel name, then opened the channel and subscribed it. So by this, I have completed almost all the functions of the Pi Auto GUI package and showed you how you can automate anything on your computer using this package. Now I want you to follow this video step by step and then using your code, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section. If you learned something from this video, then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel in order to be notified about my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.